Let's be honest, 650 pounds is a lot of money to spend on an accessory, which is exactly what an electric trolley is. Now I've been using the MotoCaddy N1 for the last four months. So in this video today, I'm gonna to run through not just the key features of the trolley, but I'm actually gonna let you know what it's like to use out on the golf course, what's good about it, and also what's not so good about it. Now the sun has decided to finally come out here in the UK, which means two things. Firstly, I'm wearing a hat, and secondly, it means my pasty skinny spaghetti legs have gotta come out in this video. I apologize if they're distracting, try not to pay too much attention. It's all about the trolley. Let's cover off the basics. At 650 pounds, you're getting the 18 hole, 28 volt lithium battery. And I've got to say, in terms of actually connecting it to the trolley, it is seriously simple. You've just got a little plug there that clips in. Now straight out of the box, what's really nice about that is the fact that if you want to, you can charge the trolley without actually taking the battery out of the trolley. With other electric trolleys, you have to actually take the battery out of the trolley every time you want to charge it. Using this out on the course, the battery is held up really, really well. I've never come close to come into empty playing 18 holes. To be honest, I don't even think I've got less than halfway through the battery. Over the years, the performance is gonna reduce on that battery, but Moto Caddy are giving you a two year warranty on the trolley as well as the charger. And if you complete the separate card, you also get a two year warranty on the battery as well. A key feature about the M1 is how compact it is. When you actually fold it up, you just unclip the hook at the back, unclip the latch on the top, and then when you fold it down, you can see there that actually that front wheel folds back in on itself. So it is nice and compact. Then you just clip those hooks back on. You can see as well, if you stand it up, that it is nice and compact too. But if you need it to go smaller, then what you can do is actually take the wheels off, spin them round and then clip them back on. And actually then you get an even smaller footprint. Two other points that I wanted to make while the trolley is folded up. First of all, the actual bag holder turns into a handle. So it's pretty easy to just pick this up and carry it around. You can even drag it along the floor and roll it along by the wheels if you want. The other key thing about this is that when it is folded up and it does stand up by itself, you can see here the handles do not touch the floor. It's resting there on that back of the bike. So you haven't got to worry that the handles are going to get scratched on the trolley. And as you can see, unfolding it is nice and simple. You just unclip the two catches and then pop up the trolley, secure the catches, and you're good to go. Another benefit of having this top latch here is that you can actually adjust the height of it. I'm six foot and I have to have it at the maximum setting. So you might find that if you're taller than me, then actually that handle might be a little bit low for you and you can't really do much about it, but you have got some adjustability there if you need it. Overall, I'm happy with the quality of the unit. There's some nice little rubber elements on the top bag holder here. The grips feel nice and grippy. You've even got USB charging right here on the front of the trolley. So if you need to charge your phone or charge your GPS, you can do so with the battery on this trolley. The trolley is gonna be compatible with pretty much all types of cart bag. However, if you have got a Moto Caddy cart bag, then you've got another system on here called Easy Lock. So with an Easy Lock bag, you connect two little pins at the bottom of your cart bag, and then you can see here, you've got two holes at the bottom here, and it just means that it slots straight in and you don't need to use a strap around the bottom of the bag, you just use these top straps instead. If you're using a non motor caddy bag or something that doesn't have Easy Lock, that's not a problem. They give you the straps that go on the bottom as well. They just clip in here, so they're nice and easy to remove if you don't need them. I've got to say that the Easy Lock system is a nice convenience. It does give the bag extra stability when it's sitting on the trolley. And again, it's no hassle. It just pops on and off really, really easy. I've been using the Moto Caddy Dry Series cart bag with the electric trolley. And so if you're interested on a review on that bag, then I'll include it down in the links below. Let's talk about actually using the trolley out on the golf course. Now, what you've got is a small color screen here, and it tells you the core information you need to know. First of all, what speed setting you've got it on. So it ranges from one to nine, and then also how much battery life you've got left. That's one small little annoyance that I just wanted to highlight with this trolley in that when you charge it up, you have one, two, three, four, five, six levels of battery life on there, which I think makes it sometimes a little bit tricky to quickly look and know how much battery you've got left on charge. The way that you control the speed of the trolley is with the spinning dial on the top, and then you push it in to start it and push it in to stop it. It's pretty simple. Now, this is probably one of my key areas that I was a little bit disappointed with the M1 in that that dial is extremely sensitive. So it can be a little bit tricky when you're walking along to just choose the speed that you want it set at. You can easily kind of accidentally nudge it too fast or too slow. And several times I've accidentally turned it off because this button right here is very, very sensitive. If I was gonna make some adjustments to this trolley, I'd just give this dial a little bit more resistance. One other key feature with this is that you can actually set it so that it can go a certain distance and then stop. 
So all you do is hold your finger on the power button there, and then it starts flashing either one, two, or three. So that sets how far you want it to go until it stops. So it's either 15, 30, or 45 yards. I didn't actually have the comfort to use that feature out on the course because I kind of struggled to judge the distances. I wouldn't want the trolley ending up going on someone else's fairway or into a tree or into a lake. I'm happy with my trolley just being next to the green. I don't need to send it on its way to go to the next tee box. If you'd like to use that feature, it's there for you. The actual motor and mechanism in there is nice and quiet as well, and there's no real rattling that comes from the battery. Throughout the winter here in the UK, I've had to use these winter wheels, and they've sent me back an additional 80 pounds or so, and you can buy them online. Again, I was actually really, really impressed with how these performed. I've tried others in the past, and I prefer this hedgehog style rather than the cutout style. If you want to spend an extra 50 pounds, then you can get a downhill control version. And what that means is, is that if you leave the trolley on a hill, it won't roll down. And also when it's going downhill on its electric mode, then actually it will stay at a consistent pace. Up to you if you want to spend the extra 50 pounds on that. For me personally, I'm not going to bother. There's no place on the trolley to keep any tees or your pencil. When I did buy this, it come with this accessory mount here. So if you want to, then you can buy additional accessories that clip on both sides and the front. Things like a scorecard holder or an umbrella holder, a drinks holder, all those kind of things. I would have liked it if it would have come with an umbrella holder in the box rather than spend an extra 30 odd pounds on it. Other than those few minor points, I'd say that overall, I've been really happy with the Motocaddy M1. Whether it's worth 650 pounds really depends upon what you're looking for from an electric trolley. For this price point, you are getting a nice and quiet trolley that does exactly what you need it to do, performs well out on the golf course and actually folds down significantly more compact than other ones on the market. So if that's something that's really key for you in your electric trolley, then I've got to say that the Moto Caddy M1 is definitely worth a look. Moto Caddy have just launched the brand new S1 trolley, which is a little bit cheaper than this one, but it doesn't fold down quite as small. And if you're still not sure whether this is the one for you, then you might want to check out this video right here, because actually, give me one second, I've also got the Power Caddy FX3. So in my next video, I'm gonna do a comparison between these two trolleys. I'm gonna let you know which one I think is the one you should buy.